you can better understand everything you see right now when you understand all of our cultural leaders are trying everything in their power to make you, your car, your church, your kids, your beliefs, your meat, your gas, make you an enemy of the state. But they have that goal with a specific purpose in mind. That's so they can then send the state power and all their guns and all their willingness to commit murder against you. Everything you see right now is with that goal in mind. That's why you constantly hear, you'll notice this now, it's a threat against democracy. This is a threat to democracy. This could end our democracy. Whoa, that sounds really serious, right? That's making you an enemy of the state. That's why they'll go on TV endlessly, without end. No matter, how, no matter how many people they murder, no matter how many children they mutilate, no matter how many horrible things they do, these people without hesitation will go on TV and call you what? An extremist. It's very extreme. It's extremist huh. rhetoric. It's incendiary rhetoric, and it has consequences. That tells you a lot about the state of the Republican Party in this country right now uh, and how extreme and how uh, devoted to Donald Trump it is. Uh, and so uh, I do think the American people are going to have to uh, fight for their democracy, stand up for their democracy, and make it clear where they are in the choice between uh, the kind of uh, extremism that the MAGA wing of the Republican Party represents and uh, the alternatives about a constitutional system of government where the, not the rule of the mob, but the rule of law decides questions in our country. You're an extremist threat to democracy. You're against the Constitution. Do you see what they're doing? You're not a political opponent to them. You're a heretic who needs to be burned at the stake. And maybe you're thinking right now, oh, those are media people. I'll push back on that. That last idiot you saw there is Ron Klain. He's the White House Chief of Staff. But maybe you say to yourself, oh, Jesse, that's just media people going for ratings, just going on CNN saying crazy things. Okay. Well, maybe that would fly except for we have things like this, courtesy of Project Veritas, who continues to do the Lord's work out there. Maybe you should go ahead and listen in on what the Department of Homeland Security is saying about you. This document, dated August 12th, refers to a heightened threat from what the Department of Homeland Security calls DVEs, or domestic violent extremists, quote, motivated by a range of ideologies who have grievances against a variety of targets, including law enforcement. Domestic violent extremists are referred to in one of these paragraphs as, quote, many of these threats include references to the perception that the 2020 presidential election was fraudulent and other claims of government overreach. The 2022 midterms in this document are also highlighted as a potential, quote, flashpoint for this violent extremism. Do you have questions about ballots flooding in in the middle of the night that somehow allowed Joe Biden to overtake Donald Trump? Do you have questions about lots of the audits and the video and the evidence we've seen now? Those are normal questions to have. Poll after poll after poll shows the vast majority of Republicans and actually many Democrats and independents feel that way. You have those questions? Have you? Let me ask you a question. Think about this. I want you to think real hard for a second. Have you texted with a buddy, any of those questions? Shared a funny meme about a stolen election? An email? Maybe you sent a private message on social media. You should understand the Department of Homeland Security considers you a potential domestic terrorist. How about that? Don't think it's limited to DHS either. You see, we have the media, we have the White House Chief of Staff, we have the DHS. Here's Steve Dettelbach of the ATF. This is the ATF director. Listen to what he has to say. I think the first thing we need to do is to, is to be honest about the fact that we have, we have a problem. But I will tell you, uh, it's gotten more bold, uh, more brazen, and more violent. For too long, I think it was too easy for us to write off some of the rhetoric that was going on as, as kind of harmless, crazy rhetoric right until it wasn't harmless anymore. Notice how you're the one who's been bold and brazen and violent. But never them. 
I could sit here and cite for you the well north of 300 incidents over the last six years of Trump supporters being assaulted and in many cases murdered across the country, but never a reference from the ATF, DHS, FBI, about Antifa, Black Lives Matter, the attack of people, never even one mention of it. In fact, if we're going to talk about violence and brazen, I would, I would argue sending 30 federal agents on a fishing expedition into the president's home, I would argue that is violence and brazen. But you see, none of what they do is violent and brazen in their minds because, again, they're serving Christ. You, heretic, you trying to stop them and their religion, you're the extremist. Get a load of this dad from a New Jersey teachers union. We don't agree on everything in New Jersey, but we all agree that our kids deserve a world-class education. So when extremists start attacking our schools, that's not who we are. People who only want to fight to score political points should take that somewhere else. You mad about your child learning to be transgender in school? Are you upset that your child is learning open racism against white people in school? Well. You're an extremist, a domestic terrorist. And don't think that's just the New Jersey Teachers Union. Remember, the FBI counterterrorism heads met to discuss you. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, The Forgotten Genocide, the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.